Good morning. I am Give Mochi Zidzi, the Chief Operating Officer of the Zimbabwe Tourism Authority. Thank you. Well, thanks very much for joining us here at World Travel Market. Every year that we come and visit you, your stand gets bigger and bigger. Well, this is an indication of what is happening to our tourism in Zimbabwe. We are on uh, a very fast recovery path. Uh, our stand is getting bigger and better each year, showing signs of uh, growth of our tourism industry because we are having more and more players wanting to come and uh, exhibit at uh, World Travel Market and indeed at other travel shows. But also the traffic that is going through our stand has also improved tremendously over the past years. And any particular trends you can pick out of, of growth markets? Well, we are happy to say that, uh, you know, our destination now seems to be firing from all cylinders. We are having growth from uh, all of our markets, both the traditional and the, and the new markets. And uh, I can safely say uh, our first half year statistics indicated a 16% growth in uh, tourist arrivals to Zimbabwe. And this growth was mixed, you know, from all the markets, I mean, call it Europe, Asia, and the Americas, and uh, particularly particularly the United Kingdom, we are very excited. There's been uh, a serious uh, double-digit growth from the United Kingdom, and we are also seeing uh, very serious improvements from the American market. And uh, Emirates is also starting an inaugural flight next year. Can you tell us a bit about that? That is the best news, I think, uh, also synonymous with your, uh, your, your breaking travel news. Really, that is the best thing that has happened to our tourism. Emirates just announced uh, that they are starting to fly uh, into Zimbabwe, into Harare, uh, as of 1 February 2012. And this is most exciting. We have now uh, solved part of the problem or the challenge that we used to have, that of access to Zimbabwe because Emirates is going to link us to more than 200 destinations all over the world and all being funneled into Zimbabwe through Dubai and uh, that is going to change our whole uh, tourism outlook in terms of uh, visitor arrivals and uh, we are very excited about that as a tourism authority and also the tourism industry in Zimbabwe that is the best news that we are closing the year with. Now also um Several of your properties picked up awards at the World Travel Awards um, in September. Yes. You must be delighted that it's being recognised as a, as a luxury, luxury properties within your, uh, within your nation. Do you see luxury as a key aspect of your future growth? Indeed, uh, what we are seeing in Zimbabwe is, uh, you know, getting of age in terms of uh, the quality of our product, in terms of the offering that we have for the tourism uh, industry and the tourists that come to Zimbabwe. You know, people used to think, you know, in African destination, you know, poor service, poor quality, rugged and so on. But we have come of age. You can have luxury in the bush as uh, I, uh, demonstrated by some of the lodges uh, in Zimbabwe that have uh, collected some awards uh, at the World Travel Awards and at other uh, fora where they have uh, achieved. I know, I mean, at the World Travel and Tourism Council, we also had some properties in Zimbabwe receiving awards for uh, being luxurious properties. And this is what our destination is about. It's about quality, it's about an experience, an unparalleled experience, and we are very excited. This is what we are talking about here with Zimbabwe, a world of wonders. That is our new brand that we introduced last year, and it is actually uh, being well received all over the world in our different markets. And also it's, it's home to some of the most natural and untapped game parks in the world. Yeah, indeed, uh, Zimbabwe, as you, you know, uh, one-fifth of our surface area uh, is uh, devoted and set aside for nature and wildlife, and uh, this is by uh, legislation, and uh, there's no country that has set aside so much of their surface area for conservation and wildlife. And in Zimbabwe, really, we boast of uh, high-quality uh, wildlife product uh, that is then... Uh, complemented by a serious cultural offering, friendly people. And we talk of the seven wonders of our world when we say Zimbabwe, a world of wonders. It is premised on the seven wonders of our own world, Zimbabwe. And uh, these are, you know, our wonderful people and culture, our rich history and heritage. We've got the uh, Victoria Falls and the Great Zimbabwe uh, National Monument, what we call the Grand Medieval Palace, and our pristine wildlife and nature. And we've got the mystic of the Eastern Highlands and the mythical uh, 
Kariba and the mighty Zambezi. And those are the seven pillars on which our tourism is thriving. And obviously that coupled with unparalleled service and a serious investment into product improvement by our private sector and uh, also with incentives from our government to make sure that the investors uh, uh, incentivized to in invest in the country. We are very much excited about the prospects for tourism and obviously it's no uh, surprise that uh, Zimbabwe won the bid to host the UNWTO General Assembly in 2013 and we are co-hosting this mega event what uh, we term uh, the Olympics for Tourism uh, is coming to Zimbabwe and Zambia in 2013 at the Victoria Falls. So we are very excited and uh, looking ahead for a a very exciting period uh, coming ahead of us. Okay, sir, well, thanks very much for joining us here at World Travel Market. It's a pleasure, and uh, it's always uh, nice to have you, and I hope to be doing this interview in the future right in front of the Victoria Falls. Thank okay, you very great. much.